body, man. Nice body, man. Is hot. <laughs> Don't think the spark plug likes getting that hot. You can get that hot in the petrol engine. You can hear the little drops of little drops of water dropping in. Little puffs of steam. So this is Tesla's steam superheated pulse detonation engine when you hook this up to a tesla turbine and a vacuum pump you won't need you won't need the compressed air because you can use atmospheric pressure which is compressed air and um i was trying to explain in the video that i've got um i've got two water jets in there these are these are one millimetre water jets. The water jets that I've got in here at the minute, they've got a half a millimetre one and a half a millimetre one here. So it's gravity feeding water in from the tank, which is coming in here, filling the, the chamber and then dripping into the exhaust. So what I might do is I might have a bigger outlet and a bigger a bigger inlet and uh, try it again because um, it's not really cooling uh, fast enough but as you can see with the water it likes to self resonate um, I know when I've tested it without the water even with just one Tesla valve um, it, it doesn't it doesn't like to self resonate um, maybe it would with the bigger airways like like here um, I've only got a 7mm hole there uh, but then it's restricted a bit by this 
But you can see it really likes to run when it's got the um, the water cooling. I mean, without the water cooling, I I I could put my hand, you know, quite close, like like there. When I when I first did the first prototype, I could have my hand about here, and then when I modified it, I could have my hand about here. But this time I was. I was like way back here, it was really, really hot water vapour. So um, Tesla does say in his articles that um, when it comes to viscosity, which is what drives the Tesla turbine, um, steam is obviously better than air, but vapour is even better than steam. Um, yeah, which is... I guess cold steam really is water vapour. So with the vacuum on there as well, uh, we can get rid of get rid of the compressed air. Um, use the LPG to start it up, and uh, according to Tesla, in the problem uh, of increasing human energy, uh, he spent most of his life researching how to uh, ionise nitrogen. So. Um, yeah, and uh, he used 100 to 130 kilohertz uh, at 12 million volts to make 65 foot shock waves. I think in some later experiments he managed to make 100 foot shock waves, according to his 1930s uh, articles. Um, but ultimately, his experiments were to find out uh, if he could alter the. Um, the pressure, the, the the atmospheric pressure, so like the vacuum to um, to make nitrogen ionise in those conditions, rather than using really ridiculously high voltage and uh, 100, 100 to 130 kilohertz isn't pretty difficult to achieve, but I wouldn't like to try and achieve 12 million volts or higher. But um, we've got 40 kilovolt roughly with um, that coil and uh, that ignition module so it would be interesting to um, see if we can make 130 100 kilohertz to 130 kilohertz spark see what happens with uh, 40 kilovolt um, no way I'm messing around with a million volts I'll leave that to the people who build Tesla coils professionally um, but right, that's it for today folks, uh, hope you enjoyed it, cheers.